Okay, here we are from IRN and we do get a lot of stuff brought into the office and it's my job as the product editor to kind of go through everything and pick out, you know, some of the best bits. And my job to eat the leftovers. <laughs> yeah. And this month has been really brilliant because walkers have come in with this really great um, union with another big brand, Heinz. So you've got uh, roast chicken with... It's not just Heinz mayonnaise, it's the Heinz seriously good mayonnaise. So they've made a real effort to make sure that it's like the premium, you know, um, quality mayonnaise. And then you've got the cheese toasty with Heinz beans. I'm not sure how, I mean... Yeah, I was going to I was going to say it's not uh they're not the silliest of of, <laughs> of, of combinations but um yeah yeah cheese toasty yeah have sort I can of see and tomato flavor rather than the bean thing I don't think it's going to I don't know. Yeah. I mean it's pretty wacky in in line with Walker's yeah. you know usual usual uh taste combinations yeah but, uh, exactly, yeah, that, yeah i, I, think I guess that could work for some people well, I think yeah that's the, you know the thing that's going to try and attract people's attention a lot yeah. is um is that sort of wackiness and that sort of singularity yep sure so. and then again you've got the sausage sarni and that's with heinz tomato ketchup and i mean they've always been really good on that kind of you know gary lineker was you know very much part of walkers they've always been really good on attracting a lot of attention as much as possible yep, and right. all of this all of these new products that kicks off their whole thing about whether you have crisps in a sandwich or you don't have crisps in a sandwich which was really big on social media and mm -hmm. i think nigella lawson got involved there were like loads of really fake gordon ramsay was involved yep. about you know how much you should have crisps or not i mean what's your what... well i know that nigella she's very much into the deep fried mars bar thing so yeah no, i guess she has no limits but um but uh yeah i, I yeah you know I, I don't mind i don't mind an interesting sort of flavor combo well i think so, that's uh, what they're trying yeah, to yeah. encourage that kind of conversation which means that you know obviously for retailers that's a bit more marketing on social media and everything like that and do, do you think that the that previous what we, we covered Mar marmite previously didn't we that yes marmite, uh, marmite i mean yeah crisp. that my particular and favorite do, do you, do you do you think that I'm I'm not sure did did that work from oh, for, for retailers? Yeah. Do you think yeah? Oh, definitely. From the point of view of it being you know two brands, two big brands coming mm. together, means that it gives um, consumers a sense of you know reassurance, and they're willing to trade up if they know that there are you know two big brands involved. Definitely, sure. okay. and it adds a kind of uniqueness, a quirkiness that you know it's something worth investing in. Yeah, you grabs, know. grabs the attention. Yeah, certainly. And then after that, we've got pom bears that are another, you know, this is like a mum's favourite for children. They brought out like a new cheese flavour. Okay. And discos, prawn cocktail. I think everyone's out, you know, on the, on the jury about that. But I think, you know, £1.25, grab a bag. Mm -hmm. You know what you're paying for. Okay, you know. the old price mark pack, which is obviously... Yeah, the BMP you know, yeah, thing yeah, exactly. is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, sure. And it's... um. I did want to tap into nostalgia, which is... Nostalgia? Yeah. All right, okay, nostalgia, right, okay. Yeah. It's a new word for me, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please explain. Well, basically, nerds are apparently, you know... <laughs> oh, sorry, no, sorry. I don't know where you're going with it, but no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nerds have got a really good following, like from a, a long, you know, generation of following. Not so. nerds in general, but this particular snap. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, they've recreated the right, world. right, yes, yeah. So to gl to gummy clusters, and that is kind of recreating a nostalgic brand, basically, and um, also they're tapping into the Halloween market. Okay. And then you've got fizzy wizzy weenie worms, which I was really worried about how yeah, yeah. I was actually going to say. Yeah, worms. you go. You've done it very well. <laughs> <laughs> and they are again just a PMP of one pound, which is fantastic for Halloween. Right, which obviously retailers are going to have to think about. Well, if they haven't oh, been already, I'm sure you know, they are. Lots to think so, about the Halloween market. Yeah, Absolutely. certainly for trick or treating and for adults as well. It's a combined market. Yeah, come sure. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, it's increasingly popular. I mean, you know, most people aren't like me who turns off all the lights at the front of the house <laughs> and waits till it's over. But I think yeah, this is uh, yeah, no, it's a very very good uh, time so to think about retailers. Yeah, it's a really really it's yeah. important time to get stocked up with you know all the confectionery that children will be wanting. Thank you.